home destroyed in the middle of the night after a car smashed into it during a police chase. All of it caught on camera. After crashing into that home, the driver hops out and runs away. Shortly after the car bursts into flames, making that home unlivable. Will Rio, live for us in the newsroom. And Will, what a scene over in Aiken. And you spoke with a woman who says the fire department told her there was minor damage. She says that is not the case. Yeah, that's absolutely right. A crazy scene there. We could barely walk through the house without having to wear a mask because the smell of the smoke was so bad. Her bedroom was completely destroyed as well. They say that they've had so many issues on that road and that this police chase was not the first one either. In the quiet of the night, it's just like I felt like an earthquake. The eyes of Gwen Thomas's house were rolling. <laughs> as a high speed pursuit ended under Gwen's bedroom. My heart stopped pounding real fast. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. She is lucky. It's just scary because I usually keep my grandbaby and we both sleep in that room. Gwen is hard of hearing. It's hard to hear high-pitched noises like our phones, bells, and even cop sirens. This could have been really bad for you. Yes, very bad. Her bedroom went up in flames. My life was spared. But her room was not spared. They said this was minor damage. Minor damage. In February, it was a different month, but the same story. It flipped over. It was heading in my house, into my direction of my mm -hmm. house. Luckily for Terry Harmon, there was no cleanup needed. Both Harmon and Thomas say the newly paved road and warning bumps aren't keeping drivers alert. We have had a lot of accidents down here. So many, they both know the beat of the traffic. Because every time somebody be speeding over the railroad track, you hear them say, bar -lum, yes. Bar -lum. yes. Every all day, I'm like, they hope something is done to ease their peace of mind. Still at night, I'm tossing and turning, tossing and turning. I have nightmares. <laughs> like, I can't keep doing this. And Gwen told us that when she was a kid, they also had a house fire and lost everything. So it was hard for her to relive some of what happened. She says every time she hears a loud bump like that, she gets up, immediately runs to the door, which you saw in that video. That's exactly what she did. Gwen says that she does have a GoFundMe up right now to help fix her home so that she can get back into that house. Some